Welcome to Radio Free QuickBooks TV, broadcasting live Studio 1A at Intuit, Plano, Texas headquarters. We're glad to have you. Uh, I'll be your host uh, for this segment, Woody Adams. I'm a QuickBooks specialist uh, with Intuit, been with Intuit for about eight years, and I'm based, of course, here in Plano, Texas as well. Of course, on the show with us, and who we've, we've been together for two years now, Stacey Kildall Dombro, and also co host and co founder Stacey. How are you doing? I am fabulous as always, always fabulous. How are you? I'm good, no thanks. I, I'm having a great day. I got a white shirt on and some corn uh, in front of me. This is actually a Thanksgiving episode, just for you guys who are watching. You look uh, quite dapper, I just wanna yeah, say. Yeah, I got the black I coat. The coat. My yeah. father bought it for me for Christmas a couple of years, it's the only coat I own. But <laughs> it, black goes with almost everything. <laughs> it does. Uh, so that'll work. And also our uh, yeah. very close friend, co-host, founder, Don Brillant. Don, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm a little bit jealous you have the corn in front of you. I mean, if I feel like I need a snack, I want to be able to pick at it, too, when it's out of reach. Well, you have But the, uh, uh, I've got some dice. I've got a chicken, so if I want to... Turkey. Turkey. Is it a turkey. chicken? We're it's not a chicken. It a turkey. We're going to let right. the head bob a little bit. Turkey. So turkey. I got the fun one, right. right? So I'm doing great. Yeah, loving being in Texas, Studio 1A. It's fabulous here. And this um, is... Great times. We've got the whole is, audience yeah. out there. You yeah, guys great can see them. Yeah, they're right. awesome. We have the audience watching Absolutely. from the window. Yeah, yeah. love it. the window. Through the window. And this yep. is the first episode of our TV version of the show. We've been yeah. doing RFQ for what, two years? Two now? years. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Very, it's been very this, cool. Yeah, and this yeah. is a big one. This yeah. is a big, we this have is a, a great big, guest. Great guest today. Very special guest that we asked to be on the first show uh, for a very for special reason. Yeah. yeah, and the reason for that, so Jim Buffington uh, is on. Uh, he has the second coolest job at Intuit, as he likes to say. Jim, thanks for coming back on Radio Free QuickBooks and for being our first guest again, but TV version. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome to be here. Thank you very much for inviting me back. And you guys have certainly done an awesome job and grown a lot in the last two years. And it is fabulous to see how much uh, things have grown and, and uh, the great work that you guys are doing. So thank you for having me back. You bet. It's great to have you. And thanks for the kind words. But Stacy, of course, we know she's been driving it. Show's been taking Absolutely. off. She's marketing wizard. Animal. Uh, and, I don't know about wizard. So what, did we figure out the other time you were out, Donna, about two weeks ago? Um, Stacy works 20 hours and sleeps four. That's did right. We figure that one yeah, out? Yeah, we did figure yeah. it out. It was 20, 20 hours of work, four hours of sleep or yeah. whatever. But yeah, Stacy drives it. She drives it so, you know, every once in a while on the radio show, Woody and I end up alone, She and, yeah. which is kind of funny. And so we have to manage everything. So that's always, which is you know, funny. We, and we appreciate the patience. It's more of, the of a comedy. Sure. Those are comedy uh, yeah. 90 minutes. That's nice. for sure. Yeah. But you guys do no. a great job. It's fun. <laughs> so, Jim, you were on the very first Radio Free QuickBooks broadcast. This was like the Wednesday before Thanksgiving 2009. 10? 10. 10. 10. 10. We don't know. Right. I don't and, know what year it is. Today's so discussion is similar. We'll get into that. Right. But for So that's, of course, why you're on for TV. We wanted to make sure that it was consistent. First one, yeah. first one. So can you tell the audience, remind them who you are and kind of what you do, the second coolest job at Intuit, like you like yeah. to say, or third. I forget what it was. Yeah, you know, uh, so yes, I do have the second coolest job. There's one person who has a job uh, better than mine, and I, it gives me something to aspire to. But uh, I, I love what I do. I am an accountant, CPA, lived the business for a long time, for a dozen years, and I get to work with accountants every day. Um, I go to their offices, interview them, do a lot of research with accounts to understand um, areas that Intuit can help, <laughs> develop new, right, right. cool products, yeah. and um, you know things that help save them time. And I remember when I heard about Radio Free QuickBooks, and right. I thought, you know what, we talk in all of these exactly forums, and we've got all this support stuff. But what a great idea yeah. to have these. Um, you know, it's kind of grassroots. Yeah. And and you at first we were thinking, well, I, I don't know how this will go because you know who, who's going to want to listen about QuickBooks on a Wednesday night or, or thereafter. But people work and then they listen to podcasts. Yeah. ESPN, right? I drive and yeah. listen to ESPN or Car Shop or whatever. Yeah. 
So, I mean, why not it be about QuickBooks and QuickBooks related issues? Yeah, pure genius. I, I love it. Well, I mean, <laughs> it, it, pure, it, it's all yeah. Woody, yeah. it was all Woody's not, idea. It was Woody's idea. However, not a term my wife would use. Thank you, though. <laughs> I, don't know. I think <laughs> Ryan Seacrest got Nicola. his, his start right, right. the same way. Yeah. Somewhere around QuickBooks and radio. Yeah, right. that's awesome. No, right on. And um, he had a black jacket. Yeah. He had a lot of black jackets. <laughs> That's perfect. So you're based in Plano too, and you're kind of always uh, the cusp of the wave or the vision for saving time. You know, none of this file transfer stuff, and I know that's a big, you know, thing that you always tell. It's done with file transfer, and, and how do we make it faster for them? So, um, what things kind of have you been involved with? You know, in the past, since we talked to you last, yeah. things have changed, and then what's new for Intuit and the accountant? You know, today. Yeah. So. Um the world has changed a lot in the last two years. Probably the biggest thing is we've had a really tough economy, tough uh, recession. You got a lot of people unemployed, and a lot of people today are coming out of that recession, forming small businesses, yep. a lot of micro businesses, a lot of people just starting up all kinds of fabulous uh, businesses. And we've got a lot of tools that they're now turning to that they haven't traditionally. Things right. like QuickBooks Online and using some of the Go Payment Merchant Account services uh, to get payment, online payrolls, and things. So. Um, there's really kind of a shift in what small business is doing, and small business tends right. to drive what the accountants do. We as advisors, so yeah. we see this uh, great opportunity for a whole new generation of advisors to grow up and serve this new mm. wave of small businesses that are coming out of this recession. So it's a great opportunity and a lot of exciting things going on there. And I think why we've always hit it off, Radio for QuickBooks and Jim, is because Don and Stacy, you guys are always kind of on the forefront. Stacy, again, since high school, been using QuickBooks online. Right. right. Yeah, and, and, and both of you guys do, do payments, right? Mobile yeah, stuff? Absolutely. Heck yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and we were at uh, the last conference that we were at, and they were talking about the accountants. They had a, I think it was Jill's... Uh, Jill Ward's keynote, keynote, keynote yeah. with Dan, where they had the the early adopters and then the laggards. Oh, yeah, yeah, the laggards. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. And we uh, determined that we were uh, innovators slash early adopters right. there you here go. at our exactly. yeah. yeah, we're definitely not the laggards. Right. That's not us. No. That was no. actually when we, the were, cusp. we were at Scaling New Heights, and um, we were in the in that Ryman Auditorium, and Dawn was showing me she just got paid through Merchant yeah. Services yeah, on her absolutely. iPhone, and she was seeing, she just scrolled through and see, look at this, and I was like, what? She's like. That's money. That's all my money for today. <laughs> That's money. I Absolutely. It. I love it. Yeah. But, um, so, Don, you want to weigh in? I mean, the, the mobile thing, remember, you, we have your, they play your video all the time. You're oh. playing softball. You hit a double, and then you go ahead and do someone's payroll. Or <laughs> I, I was actually receiving payment. <laughs> met a client at the game. Nice. Receive payment because I'll take pin. I'll take. <laughs> see, I always tell people I'll take any kind of payment, just not kids or animals. I've got plenty of animals. And right, two right. kids, plenty. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, you know, I'm all about the mobile technology again, and we've said this on, we'll say this on almost every segment because it's just one of my favorite things about yeah. accounts receivable. I mean, you just shouldn't have any, exactly. you know, there's so many ways. And, and I think a lot of the teaching is to teach your clients how to, how to work with you. Mm -hmm. And because of all the offerings, the payment solutions between go payment, between just regular merchant services, recurring payments, IPN. ACH, yeah. IPN, right. all Which those is, opportunities, yeah. it's us teaching our clients how to work with us and we can minimize and potentially long-term eliminate long-term you know, receivables. Which I, I just want to mention yeah. IPN because that's a, it Great stands offering. for Intuit, Payment, Intuit Network. Payment Network yeah. and that yeah. allows, it puts a link on the bottom of the invoice if you email it to your clients or yeah. your customers right. and allows them to go online and just pay you, they just click a link and they can just go online and pay you, they don't have to set up an account now, they right. can do it as a guest. Mm -hmm. it, you get paid in two days and it right. only costs, I think, what, 50 cents? 50 yeah. cents, like yeah. That. 50 cents, per yeah. transaction, yeah. it's really affordable. So that kind of stuff, so that this kind of falls under your, so Dawn is against AR and she's working yeah. that and you're she's against, against the file it. transfer. So this, this goes with your desktop to cloud type migration. Can you expand yeah. more on that? So we're, we're definitely seeing more people adopting cloud today. Um, and with the new digital businesses, um, these new digital um, generation customers, they, they're actually, yeah. um, they want different things from their advisors. So we're seeing different mm. business models with our pro advisors. So right. you guys talked a lot about payment. Payment's important for the accountant. You know, uh, paying the accountant is important for the small businesses. And we're yeah. seeing more pro advisors that are starting up new practices, not these mature ones. Right. They're just doing a monthly um, recurring payment with their clients and hey, I'm not billing you by the hour. Just call me anytime yeah. you've got questions. I want you to call me. I want to be involved. I want to help you yeah. run your business well. Yeah. And they're just getting on a flat monthly fee and the businesses like it better. The accountant gets better cash flow. So yeah. some of those things, um, some of them are technology driven. Right. So hey, I can use QuickBooks online and, and on my iPad or on my 
um, PC or at the house or away. Some of them are technology driven. Some of them are more just kind of the generation and it's changing yeah. some of the business model and practices. That flat fee, that's pretty much how I work with all of my bookkeeping clients. Really? Yep, awesome. set it up. You I have innovator. Yep, <laughs> QuickBooks Online. I give them their fee. Uh, they sign their credit card authorization form. Yep. I put in the recurring transaction into QuickBooks Online. It charges their card and automatically sends the email. I get a copy of it. I don't touch it. Wow. Beautiful. Love that it. Is awesome. Automate the, the whole process. Every day. It does it on the first, so I know all my money for the month is going to be in my account by the third. Awesome. So, so, love it. So, Don and Stacey, are, they're, they're out there already and they've been testing it and it works. But what about uh, you know the accountants, that are, if they're leery about Intuit going to the cloud kind of security thing, can you talk yeah. about that a little? So, there are certainly a lot of concerns from um, our traditional accountants right. that are on the desktop today. Uh, we at Intuit, we have all kinds of security, redundancy, and, and data centers that are just first mm -hmm. world class, world class. And you know, we use the same 128-bit data encryption right. that the banks use. And most of your clients are also using um, online banking, and they're mm -hmm. getting all of their financial information via the internet. Yeah. Um, this is that safe, that rock solid. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, if you've e filed anything, right, Don? I mean, you, well, we kind of laugh about that. You know, <laughs> people people have no problem handing their credit card over to a 16 year old at McDonald's who, yeah, right, right. you know, you don't know what they're doing with their hands. They got exactly. a little, some kind of a little, they got their phone under the counter and they're taking a picture of your credit card. I mean, how safe is that, right? So I, I kind of compare that with for people and say, yeah. well, if you've used your credit card, your information's yeah. out there. So oh, let's, if you've ever filed a tax return, yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff's exactly. online. Yeah, exactly. 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 Puts it online. So, everything's moving electronic. And while that seems a little scary to some folks, it's actually so much more efficient and I talk to accountants all the time who have been who've made that transition whether it's to e-filing returns or whether it's moving on and most of them after they kind of get through that transition they're yeah. always they're always at the point that I should have done this years ago yeah, yeah. they love so it that's the realization it just yeah. drives so much more productivity and yeah. efficiency and and the fact that you can get it kind of anywhere yeah. and on different devices and stuff it just feels that's true. better yeah, yeah that's true. absolutely you, well and we also talk quality. about too is if you have it stored maybe on a remote server or if you're using QuickBooks Online, it's actually probably safer than if it was stored on your laptop right, because sure. you lose them, right. they get stolen. A lot of people don't have win, you know, passwords yeah. and things like I that. I was so weighing in on a secure. community post last week that if I could store my brain in the cloud, I would. It's quite <laughs> safer there than in my head for, on most days. Um, but can you mention a couple uh, of the products? Maybe, I know we can't always commit to what's coming, but things we're working on that'll help, like we're gonna have Jorge Oliverieta on for ITO awesome. uh, one of these uh, days on RFQ TV too. But like a practice management or things yeah. like that. Yeah, so uh, QBO, uh, QuickBooks Online, is really the foundation of the um, accountant's office right. and the small business operations. And so one of the things we've done recently is announced the QuickBooks Online certification. And that kind of yeah. helps pro-advisors learn all about QuickBooks Online, get much more invested in it, and then it, it just expands from there. For the right. small business, we've got all kind of third-party applications that plug in, mm -hmm. help them with things like inventory or if they've yeah. got special invoicing they need to do, plugins that do that. From the accountant side, we've got professional tax solutions now mm -hmm. that are out there in the cloud that are very close to integrating with that QuickBooks Online. Right. We've got full uh, office management systems with time and billing that are coming online, practice nice. management, functionality to manage your due dates, your client list, and, and by the way, do it once, not yeah, do yeah. it five right, times right. in five different applications. Absolutely. So, um, really making that yeah. accountant much more efficient there. Um, and so, it really takes all of that installation systems work out of their office, right. and all they need is a browser. And their entire right. office, all of their productivity tools, their clients, everything's available um, anywhere, pretty much anytime. You know, if you got an internet so, access. So, like, so Don, the into a virtual office. I mean, that. How does yeah. that speak to you? Love it. Love you it. know, think about it. Think about how you can have your your QBO file, and then you've got Intuit Tax Online, and they're mm -hmm. talking to each other so that you're not having to add the customer's information. Um, yeah, obviously, obviously, you're not going to have individuals in QBO, right? Well, right although right. you might. No, you might. Let's well, not, you do let's have their customer information. And so right, your customer right. information flows all the way around. Exactly. Good. That's perfect. Um, and so then you're moving from that, but then you're also having the document management structure that you have to have in place. Uh, and in, in the future, we'll talk a yeah. little bit about the tax 
uh, the tax import where you can have those documents all stored in one place where everything's just kind of all syncing right. together and working together to solve yeah. and be efficient. It's all about efficiency. Yeah, right. can, yeah. I don't want to get rid of administrative people, but I want to get rid of administrative people. Yeah. Right? right no, Honestly. You know what? I'll have them do some other stuff. Trust me, there's stuff. plenty for them to do. Right, no, yeah. Move them to a, but, a review remote role. Yeah. Right? Instead yeah. of data entry, right? Exactly. I get, I get Let's get yeah. them to a different, a different level. Cool. So uh, any last words, guys? We're going to wrap up here with Jim. And I just want to say, Jim, thanks so much for believing in the show in the oh, beginning and also absolutely. coming on you. I think you said yourself you were the first listener for several weeks. <laughs> I think I was yeah. the first uh, yeah. guest, right. first listener, yeah. and uh, yeah, now yeah, the was. first TV guest. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. Right. Thank so, you, oh, of course, awesome. I think we need to be consistent. Stacy, Don, any, anything else? Good uh, stuff? Oh, we're just glad to have you back on again. Yeah. Love so, it. and what we learned from doing this before we want to hold the shot on the way out we do a quick three two one and hold the shot and that, that's how it is in tv this is what we're learning because we're not yeah. rookies anymore so three two rookies. one hold the shot all right <laughs> thanks for watching this episode of rfq tv for more episodes of rfq tv you can check out intuitacademy.com also don't forget to follow us on twitter and if you'd like to continue the discussions you can find us on linkedin